The bearded Aussie Isaac Butterfield says Australia is better than England. And he gives 10 reasons. So I'm going to find out how accurate they are. G'day ladies and gentlemen, the Buttsman here. G'day. And a couple of hundred years ago, our ancestors sent us over here on ships because we were very naughty criminals, bad people. And it was quite hilarious because they sent us from this disease ravaged absolute shithole overpopulated people were dying from bloody the bubonic plague there were plague legs everywhere people were throwing bloody shit and piss out the windows hitting people in the top of the head as they walked down the store to get their fucking dirty plague leg cut off just getting hit with piss and shit. Anyway, so they sent all these prisoners off to this wide brown land because what, they stole a loaf of bread. All right, fair enough, let's ship them off. So they shipped them off and they landed in Australia. That looks like this, and this, and this. Ha 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 ha, fuck you! Complete nonsense. Uh, this isn't probably one of the points that he's making, but I can only disagree with this Const constant point that is made about how convicts were sent to this paradise. Now, a paradise, a desert island, may look like a paradise to start off with, uh, but when you realise how much work you have to do to make it livable, those prisoners that were sent over there, let's be honest, I'm not sure they thought it was paradise. They had to work their asses off uh, for the crown to make it is what it is today. And granted, now, if you look at it, yeah, it's a pretty awesome place. But 200 years ago, it was probably just as awful as England, but for different reasons. So I don't like that one. I don't like that. Australia always has and remains far better than England. And this is why. In fact, here's 10 reasons Come on, Isaac, why. get on with the it. The weather. How does a shit, gloomy, annoying, rainy, Pissy, shitty fucking day sound. Well, that's England every day. Here in Australia, if we get, what, rain for two days in a row, we're all depressed as fuck, annoyed, and we're demanding answers and calling for the head of the fucking weather man. Every other day's fucking amazing, sure. Occasionally gets to 45, 55, 105 degrees. Doesn't matter, all right? We're tough motherfuckers here. Well, what another load of nonsense. What a load of nonsense. Now, granted, our weather is not quite as hot as Australia, but I don't really want it to be 35, 40 degrees that often. I'm happy with a few weeks in the year. Okay, I don't want it to be as cold as it is now. Uh, but let's put it into perspective, and this probably hasn't aged well. This is about three years old, this video. Um, might not have aged well because you've just gone through, well, flooding. Hmm, that doesn't sound too good. That sounds very similar to our place. Uh, sounds very similar to England, especially up north. Uh, don't you guys go through dry, barren, no water at all? Mm. At least we sort of got a middle ground, you know? So, I disagree that the weather... Okay, sometimes it's... It, it's, it's <laughs> more often it's nicer but I think it's far too much of a sweeping statement to make. Try again, Isaac. Here, we don't care about the heat. Over in the UK and England, they start passing out, they start dying, yeah, they start declaring heat waves when I shit you not, it hits 23 degrees. Are you people fucking serious? The it's beer is hot. Yeah, that's a thing. It's very common in the UK because of these cold temperatures to serve warm Beer. Now that shit just doesn't fly anywhere else in the world. I won't fucking cop that, you dirty fucking pricks. I tell you what you do if it's cold in Australia. You have a fucking coldie, all right? If you think about warming up at a beer, just throw it in the microwave, hitting 30, nice and warm. How about fuck you to the moon? Number two for Isaac Butterfield. And this is another myth. I'm sure it is. Because it's just not true. <laughs> Uh, where do I get my cider from? Oh, wait, the fridge. Where do I get my beer from if it's on tap? Oh, a cold tap. How a drink is cold is from a fridge. Uh, or you can see in, in, in a pub, the pipes, the pipes are always frozen for a bloody reason, Isaac. So, two out of two, wrong. Next. Royalty. The English have okay, yeah, a this queen. Is pointless. The English will soon 
When the queen cocks it, they'll have a king. Sure, legally speaking, they are our queen and our king as well. But in Australia, we have a legitimate king. Yeah, fucking me. And we have a legitimate queen as well. Good on you, Dame Edna. <laughs> Teeth are a problem we'll give her in that England. One. Teeth are a big fucking problem. Some people suggest that it's an unfair stereotype to make fun of the English and their teeth, but uh, I think it's unfair that to everyone that the English are around that they don't brush their fucking teeth. Oh man, Isaac. I, I assume the Queen one was a point, or the royalty. Yeah, I think the royalty is absolute nonsense. I don't think we need it. Uh, but you, like you said, you've still got the Queen, now the King. That hasn't aged well. Uh, I, he's now on to teeth. I don't think they're that bad, are they? I'm pretty sure I brush every day, twice, three times if I've had a, 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 a you know, a funky meal. Uh, I would say my teeth, well, no, his are quite straight to be fair. Okay, no, another one, four out of four. Uh -uh. Get some braces on those big fucking chompers. How about you skull a bottle of Listerine? Break out the floss as well, you dirty fucking English scum. Honestly though, sort that shit out immediately. Soccer hooligans. The English love a big riot, especially after a soccer game or a football game, they call it over there. If you call it here, football and here Australia, fuck you. Uh, they, they love a big old dirty riot, all because someone couldn't kick a ball correctly. In Australia, we don't have that too much. We don't have that at soccer games. We don't have that at rugby league games. Well, no one goes to rugby union games, but anyway, we don't have that here. The only riot we will ever have is for one reason. When you're down the beach, brah, and you find out that that bra over there, bra, is from a different background, bra. Their mum and dad were born somewhere else, bra. So let's go bash them, bra. That's the only time there's a ride here in Australia, and I couldn't be prouder. I think that's almost worse. Uh, having a riot because someone's from a different place. Uh, at least we had a reason to riot. You know, because our football team has lost. Which happens quite often. Uh, so, yeah, another one. Down the drain for Mr. Butterfield. And also, it's Isaac, not pissing Isaac. Oh, annoying. Anyway, come on, Isaac, keep going. Keep trying. Your beaches. England, your beaches Bournemouth are beach fucking amazing. awful, all right? Let's have a look at a beautiful Australian beach mm. here, okay? Gorgeous. Let's have a look at another one. Picture us. We have the best beaches in the world. That's why we're far better than you bastards. Have a look at an English beach. Yeah, this is an actual English beach. They are not... That's not sand. They're fucking... They're not even pebbles. They're fucking stones. You're walking around on granite, all right? You're running around, you're laying down, having a good old tan. Not that I obviously don't, I don't tan, I'm white as fuck. But anyway, having a good old tan with some hot rocks on your back. Sounds relaxing. Well, it's fucking not. Fuck you, England, you fucking rocky beaches. Suck. Yeah, I'll give him that one. He has finally got one point. Uh, and that is only because I have stepped on an Aussie beach and they are beautiful. We have very few beautiful beaches. Bournemouth is a lovely beach. Uh, I think Blackpool has a sandy beach, maybe. But otherwise, we don't have many nice beaches, other than maybe down in Devon or or, or the Jurassic Coast and things. Uh, so finally, Isaac, you get one point. Congratulations. You are not winning, but you're trying. Suck a dick. Your food sucks. Your desserts suck. Spotted dick. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Get some good desserts up your ass, like a good old pavlova. Yeah, I know that Kiwis carry on. Oh, we invented the pavlova. How about you suck off a sheep, you fucking inbred fuck? <laughs> All right, that's fucking out. And lamingtons, beautiful stuff. And can I just say one more thing on the English food? Why is blood pudding a thing? Trust me, I don't know. I don't eat it. It's disgusting. Uh, I have tried it. It's disgusting. I would actually say the English have better desserts than the Australians because you don't even have pavlova. Pavlova is from New Zealand. So what other desserts does Australia have? We have, actually, there's no point in me listing them because they probably come from all around the world. Uh, but England has incredible desserts. Australia, I can't think of any that they have. You're going to list it now, I'm sure. Uh, but sadly, on desserts, think about, think about cakes. Think about cakes. A Victoria sponge. 
the most basic but the most brilliantly delicate cake you can ever imagine. And then up it with a red velvet. Boom. You tried again and you failed again, Mr. Butterfield. In what world would anyone want someone's blood in a pudding? Well, not someone's, but know. something's blood in a pudding. Dracula. Right? Although that worries me. Especially in the third wave of feminism that's currently going through the world. Perhaps there'll be period... Period pudding. Period pudding! Too far. Sounds Too far, Isaac. I'm sick of the Brexit talk, alright? Brexit's just who gives a shit. You're looking to get away from the European Union. whoop de fucking do That no, doesn't impede my life at all. Why do I keep hearing about it? But now that I've got your attention about Brexit, here's my opinion. I think fucking I don't... Do it. I don't give a shit. Australia is going to do a very similar thing uh, just in a couple of months, actually, and it's going to be led by me. I'm going to try and make it uh, make it happen, right? We're going to try and push uh, Tasmania off the bottom of Australia into Antarctica so all those fuckers get hypothermia. Sounds good to me. The I've got no real argument for this one. Uh, I didn't want Brexit. That is all I'm going to say on it. Uh, so maybe he can one have one and a half points. Sort of. If that was a real thing. The Daily Mail. Yeah. The Daily Mail calls the UK home. And Telegraph's that worse. in itself Tory is one of the reasons that England is a terrible place. The Daily Mail is known for just absolutely making up bullshit. It's made up bullshit about me. Old Mike Goldman, who used to be on Big Brother. He used to be the voiceover dude. He was on a podcast last week and they made a bit of a hilariously joke tweet about... You know, sleeping in the Big Brother house because he was homeless. The Daily Mail rang Mike Goldman up. He told them that it wasn't true, but they ran the story anyway, these fucking fuck fuckers. Unfortunately, I have to agree with him. The UK has one of the worst medias around because they do anything they can to get a story that isn't even true. Uh, whether it's the Daily Mail, the Tory Graph, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you saw what happened with, with uh, Princess Diana. So, he's on two and a half points out of ten so far. I'll give him that last one. <laughs> Too many fucks. Oh, well, fuck it. Last but not least. Better make it good. Did you know that in England, you have to pay a yearly licence just to watch TV? Straight away, I'll, I'm going to interrupt here. Now, the BBC, you have to have a TV licence, which is just over 100 quid uh, per year. Some people say that it is extortionate, how we shouldn't have to pay it. And I agree that we should have the choice. Although, I would say the BBC is fantastic. Uh, the, the multitude of programmes, the radio service, the web service, they do produce a brilliant, brilliant amount of stuff. And at the end of the day, you know, you're happy to pay for Netflix, for Amazon, etc., all I would say for the BBC is we should be given an option. And I probably would pay it. That's fucking ridiculous for two reasons. Number one, who watches TV anymore? If you're not watching Netflix or watching The Bud Smart on YouTube, you're a goose. You should like and subscribe to this video. Liking the video helps more people see it. And subscribing like my video. Like ah! mine. And secondly, how much does your government hate you to make you pay for TV? What the fuck is wrong with you, England? It's time to grow up. It's not the 60s anymore and, you know, three or four people down the block have a TV. We can all crowd around and watch the telly. That's not what's happening anymore. Pull your fucking heads in. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I think that's a concise effort to make sure we're all very aware that, you know, Australia's far better than England. Love yous all. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. I hope you have a lovely week. Me dick stinks and I'll see you. Oh, I've had enough of that. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't think he did very well on them. Don't think he did very well on them. I will agree with the monarchy, but you also have the monarchy, sort of. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. Beaches, yes, you do win, just about. I say just about, quite easily. But that is about it. That is about it. At least our weather is sort of generally normal. We don't get... The sun on our backs, like burning us, like trying to destroy us with skin cancer uh, or flooding us. So we have to actually swim everywhere. So, you know, not quite a good job from Isaac that time. But thank you anyway, Isaac. Uh, this was three years, so some of it has um, aged not so well, especially with the Queen. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And of course, I will catch you next time.